uh before this video starts i just want to use this opportunity to say rest in peace to chadwick boseman who was uh, famously known for his black panther role in marvel studio movies um personally i could relate deeply with the black panther character because i am nigerian okay so i related very strongly and his death really did come as a shock to me so rest in peace chadwick boseman and prayers to all of your families all right so um in today's video i am going to be playing with the new uh Aussie skin um added to the four guys uh ultimate knockouts store um the skin actually only costs two crowns so it's a uh, relatively it's actually relatively more easy to get than the other skins that cost about 10 crowns um uh, also i'm going to be trying to go for a win in uh today's video okay so if you're brand new make sure to subscribe leave a like on the video uh share this video with your friends okay uh subscribing is the only way to support this channel currently um as it helps me grow and uh send my channel out there to more people to discover okay so let's dive right into the video in three two one okay go all right so the best way to beat uh to beat uh door dash is to just follow the crowd okay just follow the crowd you don't have to you don't have to guess to me or nothing <laughs> just follow the crowd uh try jumping and diving too that also helps uh jumping and diving definitely does help um i actually kind of fancy the the us the new us skin to be honest the new us skin to be honest <laughs> it looks very goofy. <laughs> I mean, so is basically every skin. I mean, not every skin. Don't quote me, okay? Don't quote me. <laughs> and uh, that was an easy qualification. Okay, the next mini game is rollout. Rollout is actually it's very easy. It's relatively easy, but sometimes can be a little tricky. Uh, I'm just gonna try and uh, pan around my bus skin to give you guys a full 360 view. Ace, don't grab me. Please don't grab me. Please do not grab me. <laughs> I don't know why people grab me. Seriously. Don't grab me. I'm trying. I'm trying to play the game just like you. But this Ussie skin, this guy is like, he's really reckless. He's over here just flying and diving everywhere. Look at him. He's just diving everywhere. See, that, that's exactly what I'm trying to say. That's why I said uh, this particular game mode is very tricky. Roll out, um, roll out uh, because like uh, sometimes you could jump and you could like over jump and like you know you could just slide off the the platform. So what I usually just do is I just make sure to you know run across. I never try to jump. I never ever try to jump. Again, people have different play styles in playing this particular game mode, so it's really up to you. It's really up to your preference, uh, what you like. But personally, I'll just say running across the platforms helps or uh, works just as fine. Ah, uh, fruit shoot, fruit shoot. Honestly, this particular game mode feels like you're wading through water. Like you're just running through water. Like you're running, but you're not going anywhere. <laughs> you're running, but you're really not going anywhere. All right, I'm competing. Honestly, I'm having a friendly competition with the other us skin to my right. Oh no! I've never ever fallen off from uh, fruit shoots. Like, so this is the first for me. I've never ever fallen off. So that's actually a first for me. I usually like to stick. Um, I usually like to stick towards the edge. Of the conveyor belt, so like either the far right or uh, the far left. I never try to go middle because the middle is just is just where you get, yeah, those are uh, cinnamon sticks or whatever. They, <laughs> the cinnamon sticks they basically just like that what I'll sweep you away. I usually try to say, yeah, always stay towards the edge of free shoot. Honestly, honestly, as long as I don't get team challenges or like team games, my chances of winning like dramatically increases to like about a good 80%. Okay, as long as team games are not involved, 
my chances of winning just like skyrockets like a good 80 percent okay i just basically did not get any out there uh the trick i've noticed uh from playing uh tiptoe is that all those styles that shake are actually the fake ones all right so you do not want to go in that direction so you you scan you scan around you see which tile shakes whichever tile shakes is basically you know the fake one so you just kind of like walk your way around it now i don't know which place to go okay i'm just gonna follow the crowd <laughs> i'm just gonna follow the crowd oh people are falling off all right so i think it's to the left i think it goes to the left i think it goes to the left but i don't want to be the scapegoat yep it does go to the left oh my god <laughs> Jesus, I really do want to qualify. It's only some people that can qualify. Um, let's see. Um, it's either to the left or to the right, and nobody's trying to make a move. So, uh, should I do it? You know, fuck. Oh no, 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 no! Please, please, sweet Jesus, please! I want to qualify. I want to qualify, please. <laughs> I don't know if you guys noticed there, I was about to go forward, but I saw the tower shake. That's why I went to my right, okay? And that's what just saved, and that just was, that's what just qualified me. Uh, my chances of winning Hexagon is like a good, hmm, about 60%, alright? I don't, my, my highest win percentage for any final game is in 4 Mountain, which is like a good 80%. I win that 80% of the time. Uh, Exagon, I win it about like 60% of the time. But this is what I usually do uh, from watching like really good console players play, or like watching really good people play Exa um, Exagon. I just try to bounce. It looks silly, but you have to know when to you know jump on one tile at a time and when to run. Uh, the only time you would run is when you're trying to like cut somebody off. Otherwise, this is exactly how you want to be moving in hexagon. You want to be moving just like this. Because the slower the slower you descend, the better for you. That's how you want to think about it. The slower you descend in hexagon, the better for you. Or the better your chances are for winning. And also, you saw, you saw what I just did there. I basically looked uh, on the... Oh my god. Just give me a second. <laughs> give me a second, give me a second. Alright, so I basically looked at the bottom of uh, the... Or I look at the next tile below me. I look basically for my next route. As you can see, I'm just going to jump over to the next little little ones right there. And then I go down to the next ones, see? And that's basically what you, what you want to do. That's just the best way to play Hexagon. And your chances of winning just increases dramatically. Unless you have somebody who is much better than you and much more lucky than you, who has way more tiles on a particular level than you are. <laughs> but right now, I think, I think I'm pretty solid. I think I should be able to win as long as I just take my time and not make any mistakes. And uh, there you have it, folks. Uh, my first crown with the Aussie skin. Okay? Uh, follow me on Twitch. Uh, I just... I'm relatively new on there. I just actually started. I only have four followers at, at the current, currently speaking to you as I'm making this video. Uh, follow me on Instagram as well, um, and uh, follow me on TikTok. All right, I do make. Uh, I try to make comedy skits uh, surrounding four guys, um, and uh, subscribe to this channel if you're brand new. Turn on post notifications so you don't miss out on videos uh, like this. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Okay. Peace.